where are you coming from? Dad? Young lady, where are you coming from by this time of the night? Um, I had a photo shoot gig, Dad. A photo shoot? Yes, Dad. Oh. So, you are bent on bringing shame to me by becoming a common photographer. That's it. Your siblings are all abroad, doing very well for themselves. Why have you refused to join them? Eh? At least finish your studies and get involved in the family business. Dad, I don't want to join the family business. Is that too much to ask? I don't want it. Photography is my passion and I love to do it. Oh Look at you, Dad. You're where you are today because your father allowed you to follow your dreams. Just allow me to follow mine. Allow me to follow my dreams, Dad. I said no child of mine will become a photographer. No! Jumping from one street to another. Taking pictures of people and objects. Is that what you want to become? Yes, Dad. Look at the time you're coming home. What if something had happened to you? Oh, well, nothing happened to me, Dad. I'm well and fine, as you can see. Besides, photography is a very honorable profession. Why don't you get it? For once, just support me, Dad. Hazel, if you need my support, get something reasonable. Pick up something reasonable to do. Then I'll support you. Now listen, when next you come back this late, I'll be grounding you. Dad? <laughs> then are you forgetting that I'm a grown woman? I'm no longer a teenager, Dad. Why would you ground me like I'm a, I'm a child? Mm. A grown woman? Yes, Dad. A grown woman? Under my roof. Hazel. I mean, he's so handsome. Yeah, she's body, she's smile. Um, come in. Good evening, Mom. Hi, Hannah. How are you? I'm fine. Um, I came to inform you that your dinner is ready. Oh, um, Hannah, I'm not. I'm not hungry. Thank you. Okay. I'll let you know when I'm hungry. He's so fine. <sighs> Shit. <sighs> this is your stuff. Your work is inside. Here you go. Yeah, your pictures are there. Yesterday was my birthday and you refused to show up with it. You knew how important those pictures were to me and you choose not to deliver on time. I'm sorry I had internal issues, so I couldn't meet up. Internal issues? Yes. And if I may ask, why did you run off before your session with me ended? Are you really asking me that? Like you don't know? No, I don't know. You don't know why? No, I don't know why. Explain. It's because you kissed me. No, you kissed me. No, you kissed me. No, 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 no. You kissed me because you couldn't resist me. Is that what you think about yourself? What the hell do you think you... Yeah, Nathan. Why haven't I received your pitch deck? Tomorrow morning, please. No more excuses. It's okay. All right. Good day, sir. Oh. Olive, how are you doing? I'm fine, sir. Good. Can I sit? No, no, can I sit down? Okay. I came to see Hazel. I've been calling her number, but it's not going through. Is she at home? Oh, she should be somewhere roaming around with that stupid camera of hers. Look, you need to talk some senses into that, your friend. Let her see reasons she should relocate her abroad to at least 
Further her studies. She's wasting away in this country and that is not good. I've heard, sir. I'll talk to her. <sighs> she's not at home. I don't know where she's gone. Okay. Maybe I should be going. I'll call her later then. It's all right. All right. Thank you, sir. I mentioned. It's all right. Take care of yourself. All right, sir. Yeah. for the petroleum project. Chief. Chief. The pitch deck, sir. Sorry. Is everything okay? You've been a bit uh, distracted today. It's just a, a little family problem. Children at home has been giving me a very hard time. I thought all your children are aboard, sir. Not this one. This one has refused to join her siblings. She wants to stay back in Nigeria for one stupid profession. She doesn't have the heart to be going around with some useless group she called friends. She's uh, raising my baby and uh, honestly, I do not know what to do with her anymore. I'm sorry about that, sir. Um, peer pressure and street excitement can make one lose direction sometimes, but I'm sure it's just temporary. Trust me, she'll be the one running back to you, sir. You think so? I know, sir. I've been there, done that. Street is not for the faint hearted. Well, I just hope she does. I'll go to your pitch deck and uh, send him back to your desk if there's any disagreement or corrections. Thank you, Chief. Alright, thank you. Well, so we started kissing and kissing. God, like, you need to see this guy. I just, I lost control. I didn't know what I was doing. I swear. I feel like we have a connection. So you almost made out with this guy? Yes. <laughs> How is he not very cute? Cute? Cute is an understatement. You need to see this guy. He's so sexy. I mean, his body is hot. His biceps, his abs, his... <sighs> He's like a great god. So tell me, what is he rich? Like, very rich. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? So you just kiss somebody and know his bank account. How? Look, I don't even care about that. I just want a loving guy that will love me and take care of me. That's all. You would never cease to amaze me. How? I mean, look at you. <sighs> eh? Which girl in your class would decide to date someone below her standard? I don't what? care. Oh, God. Look at you. You have all the money in this world to buy any car of your choice. Jesus Christ. But that's not how it's mm. You rather enter public transport with all those low lights. Because it's fun. Have you entered the bus before? You hear different G's from here and there, different things. You receive fresh air. When last did you receive fresh air again? You think it's by AC. It's not even so healthy. Mm -hmm. It's God that I blame. How? Because if he has given me the, num the amount of money that he gave you that you don't know what you're doing with. Mm -hmm. I will not be walking on the road with him. I don't understand what you do. Body that, uh -huh. convoy. Uh -huh. I have plenty of people. See this one. <laughs> you will never find a man with that. 
Who wants to come and meet you? Ask about what? <laughs> ah. Meanwhile, your dad sent me so I should talk to you. For what? If it's about traveling or stopping photography, no. Read my lips. Never. Still, you're stubborn. I know. Ah. This is a very good news. I believe this merger will be a very good start of our families. Yes, of course. Why don't we cheers to it? Yeah, to greater things. Mm. knocking on my door at this time. Please just let me in, please. I came here because I know that this is the only place that they won't come looking for me. Can I just go in, please? Who is looking for you? Did you steal something? No, I'm not a thief. Please just let me in, please. I beg you. Okay, okay, fine. My uncle is trying to marry me off to one guy that I don't even know because he wants to cement some business partnership. Just let me in. Please. And what about your parents? I, I, I'm an orphan. I'm an orphan. Can I go inside? Fine, you can stay the night. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah. Amma! Sir! Amma! Please, uh, call her for me. Sir, so she's not in her room. I've gone up to call her, but she wasn't there. Where could she have gone by this time of the night? I don't know, sir. It's okay. Okay, sir. <clears throat> Chief, is there a problem? Uh, no, 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 not at all. It's nothing to worry about. It's just that... Uh, Hazel must have gone to her friend's place. But not to worry. Everything will still be carried on as planned. Okay? You had better be so, because my father will not be happy to hear that the meeting didn't go as planned. No, no, no. This marriage must definitely happen. It must. I have everything under control. You have nothing to worry about. I'm not worried. I'm not in a hurry. I mean, I'm not the one who has something to lose. Well, um, I think uh, there's nothing to worry about. She's probably at a friend's place. Um, I'll call her to come back. Let me call her. The line is not connecting. So let me call our friend. Look, um, Hannah, it was not a planned action, okay? I just ran away immediately. I heard him talking to Christopher. 
Um, okay, I'm going to text you my address, but please, I beg you, don't tell anybody where I am, okay? I do. I, I, I trust you. Okay. Alright, bye. Jeez. I thought you could use some breakfast before work. Hmm. Wow. My favorite. Why not? Hazel? Yes? You know I can see you, right? Mm-mm. Would you like to join me? I'm not hungry. I'm fine. You sure? Mm-hmm. It's nice. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Love it. Okay. Thank you. It's so thoughtful of you. Actually, this is the first time a woman is ever doing anything for me. Aside from my mom, of course. You're welcome. <laughs> Please, come. Come and sit down. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm finished. Okay. <sighs> So, did you just randomly decide to make this or...? My instincts. Mm-hmm. Mm you have good instincts. It's my favorite. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice one, instincts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. Just the way I like it, very soft. Really? Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> so she was like, you know you were so rude, right? And she was like, this guy's crazy. He's scary. Really? You call that rude? You're rude. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't agree. <laughs> You're rude. Mm -hmm. Very rude. Whoa! What? I completely forgot about work. I have to run. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I'll see you later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Thank you. What do you mean Nathan is not in the office? Do you know what time it is now? Sure, sir. No. Please call him and find out where he is. I have to go to the police station to make a report. My daughter is missing. I also have a meeting with the MD of D&G Electronics. I want him to go there and fill in for me. No problem, sir. I'll put a call right away, sir. That reminds me. Why haven't your department sent me the updated quotation for a review. About that, I am so, so sorry, sir, but the rest I showed, I'm going to make it available before today, Wednesday. Why, why is everybody doing as they please? I'm so sorry, sir. It wasn't intentional. So sorry. 
Please put Nathan on call at once. All right, Don't bother. I, I, I'll call him myself. I'll call him. No problem, sir. Thank you. What are you looking at? This guy is shy. I was not expecting this place to be this beautiful. Uh -uh. I think he's poor. Poor? Who is poor? Him? No! You know you're the chief of judging people before even meeting them, right? But the only thing is that this guy doesn't like girls that are rich. Yes, he hates rich kids a lot. If I tell him that my father is rich, he'll throw me out. So I had to lie you. I had to tell him that I'm an orphan. Yes. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. I was literally praying for my father's life and I was lying. I had to. <laughs> So you have to lie to the guy mm -hmm. that you are an orphan. You had no choice. Please, you like this guy this Can much. Can you stop being dramatic? See, the thing is, I, I actually like him. I won't lie. But I just hope he feels the same way. <laughs> My girlfriend is in love. <laughs> you, Hazel. Mm. You that has rejected a lot of suitors. They are not my type. You that has a stone heart. You are in love. Ouch. Ah, who is this guy? I would love to meet him. Ah, uh, soon you meet him. I want to meet this guy that is shaking your head like this. <laughs> soon. Nothing soon. for you, Sha. Keep your happiness to oh. yourself, Joe. No problem. Leave me alone. Ah. Leave me alone. <laughs> you look good. You I can just like take a picture of you like you. this. L listen. My daughter has been missing for the past 24 hours. Her phone cannot be reached or tracked, and I'm getting worried. No, I've not. But I'll be coming over any moment from now, please. Please, I want my daughter back home safe. Whatever you can do to help me, please do. God. And anybody that has any information that will lead me to her will be handsomely rewarded. Why are you sleeping here? Jesus, Nathan, where have you been? Uh, where have you been? I've been so worried. I'm, I'm okay. I had a lot to do at work. I'm sorry, I should have called you. Well, you left me all by myself. I was bored. I'm back now. Uh -huh. mm. And I am going and to what? take you. To ah! your Stop! I can walk by myself. I'd rather take you. <laughs> How can you be so insensitive to talk about business and marriage? You know that my daughter is missing. 
My father's business is not something I joke with. And my daughter is also not something I joke with. This same arrangement was also the reason she ran away. And instead of you to feel responsible in helping to look for her, you're here talking about deal. Call me when you need to do business. For now, I'll take my leave. It's okay. I called to tell you that Uncle Christopher was in the house today. I did not hear their conversation very well, but I overheard when Uga was shouting at him, telling him that his daughter is more important than any business relationship. Yes, I am sure. You needed to see the way Uga was shouting at him. Ma, I think you should come back home. Hmm? Uga has really changed and he's missing you. Okay, I will. Take care of yourself, okay? Yeah. Girl, do you know that Hannah was just telling me about what happened the other day? She said daddy was yelling at Christopher for making marriage arrangements while I'm missing. Who does that? Hmm? I know it won't be long before the old man will start missing you. Huh? Are you not his precious daughter again? Look at her face. When are you going back home? Going back? Yes. Your father has been doing everything possible to find you. Oh, please. I don't think I'm going back yet. Yes. <sighs> Hi. I'm going for a run. I'll see you when I get back. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um, Nathan, this is my friend Olive. Olive, Nathan. Nathan, Olive. Ah, uh, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. uh, uh, okay. I'll I'll see you guys later. Oh, ah, uh, babe. Yep. Don't forget the photo shoot for the real estate people. All right. Sure. Thank you. Ah, uh, see you ladies later. All right. Yeah. Safe. All right. snap out of it. Why are you looking at him like that? He's so cute. No wonder you fell for him. What? No wonder you have refused to go back to your father. Can you stop? Are you so fine? Oh, God. Because what was the commercial he was talking about? The commercial... You, you, you see yourself. Because of a man, you've forgotten what you wanted to say, right? See, see yourself. Anyways, I, I like him because he helps me with gigs, you know, to shoot for different brands. That's all. Aww. Nothing more. He's such a great guy. <sighs> Can you stop it? It's okay. Snap. Snap out. Okay. Stop it. Good. Are you still, I, will, I will stone you. You're still thinking about him. Okay, it's fine. Ha! Can't that man. No! No! So, will this um, crash in quotation affect your production? And um, how bad are things in your department? Honestly, sir, not so good at all. We are now producing on low quantity due to unavailability of raw materials. So it's not going well. And speaking about that, sir, I thought we are supposed to have a merger with Chief Gilbert. What happened? Yeah, but um, they are threatening to cancel the contract just because my daughter is refusing to marry his son. Now, you know how difficult Hazel can be. She even ran away from home. My daughter has been away for 
quite some time now and I have not seen her. I'm getting worried, more worried about her safety than this business. When Nathan comes, tell him to gather other departmental heads in the conference room. We'll have an emergency meeting. Let's start sending proposals to other companies for plan B. Absolutely, sir. I will do that. But nevertheless, I want to appeal to you to calm down as regards your daughter. You don't have to worry yourself that much because she is a very strong lady, just as you are. So please just calm your nerves, sir. You don't mind. You're right about that. You're right. Azel is even stronger. <laughs> I've never seen a girl with that kind of resilient spirit. That's right, sir. Okay, look after you. <laughs> Hey you, Hazel. Everyone is looking for you and you're here taking pictures of some random rubbish objects. I mean, is that what you want to do with your life? Can you just leave me alone? Because I don't want to talk to you. Hazel, your father's business is suffering. And I am the only one that will savage that situation and you know it. If you continue proving stubborn, I mean, is that what you want for your father's business? So what are you trying to do? You're trying to buy me? Huh? You really think that you can buy me, Hazel? Is that what you think? Read my lips. I would never be bought. Do you understand me? I would never be bought because I am priceless. Allow me to take better pictures because the only thing that looks like rubbish here is you. It's Hazel, come on. Come on. Hazel. Yes, who else is here with us? I can't remember the last time I had a good homemade meal. God, this is good. <laughs> really? <laughs> mm. You like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Sir, <coughs> take your <coughs> drink and drink. <coughs> Sorry. Are you good now? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Whew, that was scary. What? You're so kind and compassionate. So loving and caring. That's because I grew up with love. So much love. Mm. Mm -hmm. By the same man who wants to sell you off? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that man loves me a lot. Okay, he took care of me. I guess he's just desperate because his company is falling apart and he needs to salvage it. That's all. Mm. Mm -hmm. Also, I came back the other day and I found out that you did my laundry. It's impressive. Well, I helped the needy. <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to help you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, why are you looking at me like that? Well, you deserve to be pounded. What? 
<laughs> Kidding. <laughs> I mean, you deserve to be appreciated. Okay. So, I have something for you. Close your eyes, please. What? Eyes closed. Thank you. Closed? Yeah. Closed. Uh, no cheese. Uh, okay, okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Incoming. Okay, let's go. Mouth open. What? Yeah. No. Something is coming in. So no, something like what? Well, I want to open my eyes. Just chill. It's fine. Just God. Eyes, all right, trust me. Oh my God. What safe. do you want to put Absolutely into my mouth? Safe. Just go. Open it's your mouth. Safe? Trust me. Very safe? Trust me. Very okay. safe. This is all I get for everything that I do for you. A spoon of rice. Right. Right, right. Just close your eyes for me one more time. Again? Yes. One no. More time. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Are you ready? No, open I'm not your, ready. You might have to open your mouth wider than you did. Wider! <laughs> no! Come on, don't be like that. No, just, I'm just, not just, opening just, my mouth. Just, Why the what? Just open it, open Hell it. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it. Okay. You said why, why okay, just that? Just a bit, trust me, trust me. It's safe. God. Completely safe. Completely safe? Yes. 100. What is it? Open your mouth. Ah. <laughs> alright, alright, okay. there you go. Oh! <laughs> Please, I'm going to keep this meat because I'm not giving it back to you. Thank you. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for appreciating me. That I cooked by myself. Mm. Okay. Okay, well, why don't you come closer? I need to tell you something. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, tell me. Yeah. Tell me, tell me. This way. What? This way. This way? <laughs> You're crazy. You know, right? You like crazy? No, I'm not having this conversation with you. <laughs> Please, Olive. I... I want you to tell your friend. Okay? Let her know that I want her back home. If she does not want to marry Christopher, it's fine. Nobody will force her. Okay? Let her know that I missed her and I, I want her back home. Sir, I am being very sincere with you. I don't know where she is. I have been trying to reach out to her as well, but I can't. But at least I believe you, you can still find a way to reach her. The only possible way I can think of is probably to put up a post on my social media account. She's likely going to see it and reach out. Mm. It's okay. That will do. But anytime, any day she reaches out to you, please do where to call me first. I will, sir. Who's there? Um, who are you? I'm Nini, Nathan's girlfriend. And you are? You're Nathan's girlfriend? And who are you? And why are you in my mom's house wearing his t shirt? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Nathan, it's better not be what I'm thinking. All efforts made to find my daughter is abortive. Just because someone is harboring her within. I got a call from somebody who claims to have seen her. The good thing is, she's alive and well. And I hope that whoever is keeping her knows that he or she is committing a serious crime 
and they could be jailed for it, knowing fully well that the family is looking for her. I want to find my daughter. And I also want to know who that person that is keeping her. If I find that idiot, I will deal with him mercilessly. I understand, Chief. I mean, a sensible person would advise her to go home. <sighs> what is wrong with some people? I swear I will jail that person and throw away the keys. Nobody, I mean, nobody messes with me. No one. You want to eat what you do not so? Get out! What makes you think you can just come from nowhere and have Nathan? Listen, your witchcraft will not work. Not one of my life. Get out! Leave this place! You smelling thing! Get out! Fast! Get out! Go out before he comes back and meets you here. And your witchcraft will catch up with him again. Get out! You fool! Go to the gutters where you belong. Let's go! Move it! Move it! Fool! Get out! My God, my darling. Oh, my darling. Good day, sir. Thank you for coming back home to me. Good day. Thanks, <sighs> Hello. Yes, your call just came in perfect. It came in at the right time. Look, my daughter has just returned. She's well. She's healthy. No injuries. Look, I am grateful for that. Right away, I am going to call the commissioner of police now. <sighs> yeah, hello. Yes, officer, please end the search. Yes, end the search. My daughter had just returned. Yes, I will. As soon as I find those that... Yes. As soon as I find those that are holding her hostage, I'll call to let you know. It's all right. So, tell me. Who are those that have been keeping you hostage? Dad, I'm fine. Oh. No, one, no one kept me hostage, Dad. I'm okay. Look. Tell me those that dare to lay a filthy hands on you. Tell me, let me make life miserable for them. Dad, nobody kept me hostage. I just, I just need space. I'm fine. Okay. You know what? Go upstairs and freshen up. As soon as you're done with that, come downstairs for dinner so we can talk more about this. Okay, Dad. So, babe, I'm home. Oh. Babe. Hey, Mimi. What are you doing here? I didn't know you were coming. Oh. And if only I was supposed to send an email. 
Talk to my mom's house. Where's Hazel? Hazel! Who is that? The lady you met in this house. Where is she? I already sent her asking the girl where she belongs. What? On whose order? My order. Are you cheating on me with her, right? How dare you let her? How dare you let her? Cheating on you? You, you sound ridiculous. Are we married? Are we engaged? How dare you come to my house and throw my guests out of the house? Are you insane? Look, you have five minutes to find her and bring her back. Nathan! Imagine. Nathan! He betrayed me. How would he do that to me? No one has ever loved me the way he loved me. I felt like I have found a new love and now this. Baby, it's okay. You need to pull yourself together. It's not the end of the world. It is. I mean, how can you love someone like that and make them fall in love with you when you have someone else? Now she just showed up from nowhere and I feel so stupid. Can you just leave me alone? Can you just leave me alone? Babe, I think we should pick his call. He has been calling him nonstop. I'm not picking his call. Just leave me alone. But you need to hear his own side of the story. He's just going to lie to me again. Don't you get it? What if he does not want to? Stop it! Just stop it! Just stop! Making my father to beg his friend to place you on that position of a manager. A position you don't even deserve. And you have the F on you. The nerve to cheat on me with that low life. Not even someone in my class. Well, I'm sure by this time tomorrow, your, your sack letter will be ready. Your father is not the owner of the company. And if I'm not competent enough, I don't think the company will keep me regardless of who recommended me. Yes. He might not be the owner of the company, but can you count how many times he has saved the sorry acts? Huh, Nathan? I thought as much. She's just so grateful. Peace be off again, Nathan. Just one more time. And I'm very sure you don't want to lose all you've worked hard for just because of that low life of a girl. You shouldn't have sent her away. You shouldn't. I can't afford to lose it. At least not someone that is below my standards, below my class. That thing. I can't even believe I'm dragging a man, my own man, with that riffraff, that low life of a girl. I know he doesn't love me. I mean, it's written all over him. But I love him. I love him. And letting go is not an option for me. I only need a way out. Well, I, I have him under control. Mentioning his job always makes him shiver like a child with fever. Yes. Yes, let's leave it at that place. Yes. It's alright. Yeah. 
Dad, you sent for me. You said I should carry my camera along. So, here it is. Yeah, sit down. Okay. There. <clears throat> Hazel, I, I want you to know that um, henceforth, I will support your dreams. Dad? Yes. Um, you wanted to be a photographer. Yes, Dad, yes. I shouldn't have taught you down the way I did. It's just that I wanted the best for you. But um, seeing how much this makes you happy, I'll support you. Daddy! Daddy, thank you! Thank you, Daddy! Daddy, thank you! I'm so excited! Dad! Um, as you can see, I'm fully dressed for a photo shoot. Okay. So, um, let's hit it. I want to be your first client today. Okay, um, Daddy, I'll just go get the other equipment so we can start. Uh, please do. Okay. Please do. Daddy, can you can you stand up so I could take more pictures? Uh, yes. It's all right. <laughs> Perfect. Sound like this? Perfect. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. Nice one, nice one. <laughs> can, can I sit here? Yes, yes, sure, sure. Sure, that. <laughs> so fine. Oh, please, you don't need you in this profession. Shush, go. <laughs> oh, thank you, my darling. Meanwhile, you did not get, tell me you got a new deal. <sighs> well, I didn't get a new deal. This is one of the gigs that Nathan gave me while we're still together. Mm -hmm. Sad. Speaking of Nathan, have you heard from him? No, I haven't. Um, ma'am, I'll be at the kitchen in case if you need me. Okay, no problem. Just okay. give us a minute. Why would I want to call him? Hmm? After he used and dumped me. What use is that? Baby, I feel like you're judging this guy harshly. <laughs> You've not heard his own side of the story. I don't want to hear it, okay? I don't. What if this girl is one person that is trying to force herself on him? Have you thought of that? Hear from him first. Have you thought of being useful to me? Stand up, stand up, stand up. Come on, carry lights. Thank you. Stand up, stand up. You're for sure, Anna, now. Hold this thing. <laughs> I still think you need to speak to him. I think you should hold this thing properly. Hmm. See, fine model now. Let me snap my stuff before you start disturbing me with Nathan. My God. Aha. Uh -huh. So, this girl has turned me into shit. 
completely. Perfect. Next time you think twice for coming to tell me rubbish. <laughs> Enjoying the meal. Mm-hmm. Very delicious. I have something for you. Close your eyes, please. What? Eyes closed. Thank you. Closed? Yeah. Closed. Uh, no cheese. Uh, okay, okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, incoming. Okay, let's go. Mouth open. What? Yeah. No. Something is coming in. So. No, something yeah. like what? Just, I want to open my just eyes. Chill. It's fine. Just God. Eyes, all right, trust me. Oh my God. What safe. do you want to put into my mouth? Safe. Just go. Open it's your mouth. Safe. Trust me. Very safe. Trust me. Very okay. safe. Ah. Well, this is all I get for everything that I do for you. A spoon of rice. Right. Right, right. Just close your eyes for me one more time. Again? Yes. One no. Time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? No, open I'm not your, ready. You might have to open your mouth wider than you did. Wider? Ah. No. Come on, don't be like that. No, just, I'm just, not just, opening just, my mouth. So, wider for what? Hell no. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Open, you said wide, wider. Just a bit. Trust me. Trust me. It's safe. God. Completely safe. Completely safe. Mm, yes. What is it? Open your mouth. Ah. Alright, alright, there you go. (laughs) What? Please, I'm going to keep this meat because I'm not giving it back to you. Thank you. Oh. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Thank you for appreciating me. The meat that I cooked by myself. Mm. Nathan. Yeah. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. to live an unhappy life because I'm trying to keep this job. How has that got to do with your job? I got this job through Chief Umosu and his daughter has been taking advantage of it. She wants us to be together and if I refuse, my job gets threatened. I love this job but I also want to live a happy life. So my company is now used for a game. That means he was not looking for someone who could help my company grow. He was looking for someone he could will off to his daughter. Oh, sir, I came to tell you that I'll be sending a copy of my resignation letter to your office first thing tomorrow morning. You will do no such thing. You're one of my best staff. And I can't afford to lose you. Go back to your office. 
Nothing is happening to your job. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. And as for Chief Osa and his daughter, leave them to me. I'll handle them myself. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Your friend keeps late nights. And when he's home, he doesn't even talk to me. Yes. I can't even remember the last time we slept on the same bed, in the same room. She relocated to the guest room because she feels I'm not supposed to be in the same room again. And I'm very sure she's with that, that low life. That thing. But what did I do? How did I go wrong? Felix, talk to me now. I would do the same thing if I was in his shoes. In fact, who will hear what you did and then applaud you for that? You actually crossed every line when you threw that lady out of the house. You should have just waited for him to come back home and then explain himself. But no, you rather decided to do it the Kung Fu way. She's not in my shoes, so I don't expect you to understand. But don't you think your friend is overreacting? Going to the extent of him wanting to, to resign his work just because he feels that's the only thing I would use to hold him down. It's stupid to me. It's really stupid. Felix, please, help me talk to him. Tell him I love him. Help me talk to him. Tell him how much I really do love him. I love your friend. Please. I think you should let him know that yourself. Is that all I have to say? Well, forget I asked. Chief, the reason you called me over to your place are better than important. Well, Christopher, I am still very much interested in this major, but without the involvement of my daughter. If that's the reason you called me, then I'm not doing any business with you. <laughs> See, how would you enjoy marriage with someone who doesn't seem to like you? I need to seal this deal. And I'm sure it's going to benefit the both of us. So why don't we have a fair deal? I mean, let's have a fair trade. Why involve my daughter? She doesn't love you, and I've made all efforts. Your effort is not good enough. You need to try harder. Young man, talk to your father. Let us have only business deal and forget about this uh, family tie. Let's forget about it. You are her father. You know everything she wants. Didn't I have some? Ground her that that's what it would take for her to marry me. Hi, Dad. Hi, Hansel. Dad, I have something to tell you. What is that? Oh, yes, I said it. I knew a day like this would come. I know she has accepted to marry me. I know a day will come when you kneel down to beg me to marry you. Hazel? Yes, Dad. You want to marry him? You don't, you shouldn't if you don't want to. Dad, marry this one. <laughs> I will never marry you. Read my lips. Never. You think I don't know the reason why you desperately want to get married to me? Hmm? It's because you know that my father will will his company to me and you have a huge chunk of it. You have control over me because you are a man. You're shocked. You're shocked I figured you out, right? Well, I'll never let anybody steal from my dad and I, let alone you. Rubbish. Dad, here you go. What is this? Well, daddy. So a company that I did a commercial photo shoot for. They want to buy shares from your company, dad. I don't understand. Now, after I showed them the similarities between our products and theirs, they're interested in partnership. Dad, we finally have the money. Mm. 
<clears throat> How come? I mean, <laughs> who would have thought that my own daughter, a photographer, would save me a huge loss on a day like this? Anything is possible, Dad. <laughs> Daddy, you're going to squeeze my phone. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm so excited. What are you doing here? What do you want? Hmm? You stopped taking my calls after you disappeared from my house. You know, I would go any length to find you. You didn't go to shit. I know my friend Olive told you where I was. Okay? And she has me to contend with. Can we talk? No. Get out. I don't want to talk to you. So I just want a moment of your time. Go back to your girlfriend. Go. I don't want to be deceived anymore. Just go. Just let me clear the air. I wasn't deceiving you. Okay? What we had, what we still have, is real. I love you, Hazel. I really do. You love me, right? Yes, I do. Then tell me how you sent your girlfriend to throw me out of your house after you used me and you're tired. You can't even dump me properly. You had to send her. Right? Hazel, Mimi means nothing to me. We're not in a relationship. I don't love her. Okay? Uh, her father helped me get a job and somehow I felt obligated. I would have left her a long time ago, but She's threatening me with the job. In fact, I just left a resignation letter with my boss. You did what? Hazel. I love you. And I'll do anything just to be with you. Even if it means losing everything. Wait. Busy before you came. Good day, sir. My my dad said he sent for you. Yes, I sent for you. I sent for you. Also, my relationship with your father was not based on business. 
Look, we started when we had nothing. And we are like brothers. I would not let you take advantage of that. I will not. I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't mean it that way. I just thought if I should scare him just a little, he would stay with me. I'm very sorry. What is wrong with this new generation of girls? What is wrong with you? Look, you don't force a man to be with you. Because if you do, you might have to struggle the rest of your life to keep him. And that is too much for a lifetime. I love him. I really do love Nathan. I've never cared for anyone like this before. So please, I would really need you to help me talk to him. To reconsider. Please, sir. Please. Look. You don't force love. You don't force it. My daughter just rejected her sitter recently. Just because it was not based on love and happiness. It was based off, you know, business. And I understood her. Okay? You need to consider love and happiness. Listen, I want you to focus on yourself. Be like my daughter. Okay? I just wish she's at home I would have introduced her. She's someone you need to look up to and then emulate. Thank you, sir. But I still need you to help me talk to him. I love Nathan. I really do. Help me talk to him, sir, please. You are not even listening to me. You're not listening to me. So after all I have said here, you're still telling me, I am I am I'm sorry, sir. Let's leave. Leave. Please, take, Nathan, Nathan, take Nathan, everything Nathan. that belongs to you and get out of my house. Do you understand me? Why would you push a woman like that? Look, I want you out of my life. Do, do you hear me? You wench! You, you caused the freedom. Stop it! You came into the, his life and ruined everything I worked so hard for. You wish to not last forever. I will come for you. You, 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 you fool! Stop you it. fool! to arrange the table before I go home. Wait, what, what, what? Go home? Yes, go home. Wait, you're not joining me. <laughs> I want to join you so bad, but it's already late. I need to go. Oh, I'll, I'll drop you off. It's okay. Ah, drop me off? No, 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 no. I don't want that, okay? I just booked my Uber and my dad. I mean, my, my uncle, he wouldn't like me to be with a very handsome guy, so. It's fine. Oh, you what? think I'm handsome? No, you're not. You're Ooh, ugly. You're okay. very, it's very ugly. You're, you're such, ugly. You're such a liar. It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you're ugly. Uh, are you sure you don't want to come and pay my group price? Hmm. Huh? How much is it? It's very expensive. Like how it's like much? Uh, five billion dollars. For what? Yeah. <laughs> how am I supposed to pay for you? Yes, no. I pay in there, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I miss you, baby. Where is it? I want her dead as soon as possible. This is your part payment. Do a very clean job. No trace. I 
can assure you, I've been doing this job for a very long time. I kill for a living. No story. If you're caught, I'll get you myself. I'll kill you before you run your mouth. Job done. I'll get back to you. So I got you. I got you. <laughs> you thought I was in my bedroom? Yes, Dad. So who is he? Who, who is who, Dad? Whoever it is that has been keeping you out late at night. You don't need to be sneaking around. Bring it, Mom, and I will give you my blessings. Dad, are you serious? I should. Be... Daddy! Daddy, thank you! Thank you, Daddy! Bring it, Mom. Uh, at least you. You have proven to be responsible and uh, capable of taking care of yourself. Yes, Daddy. So, bring it, Mom, and I will give you my blessings. <laughs> Daddy, thank you. Thank it's you right. so much, Dad. Right. You know I love you, right? Yeah, I love you too. Can I go to my room now? Yes. Okay, Daddy, but bye. One more thing. What? Stop coming back late at night. For your own safety. Okay, Daddy. Thank you! Thank you! We have an offer. Oh, really? Wow, congratulations, sir. <laughs> this is good news. <laughs> congratulations, sir. Hmm. Uh, but, but I don't understand, sir. How is it that all the proposals that we sent to other companies haven't reached out yet? What would I say? My own daughter did me proud. She got the Williams Group and their company a day through the same profession I once condemned her for. <laughs> Maybe I can tell. This is wonderful. <laughs> Who would have thought something good can come out of anything? More congratulations, sir. Honestly. Congratulate my daughter when you see her. Because she made it happen. And she's going to be on the front line of this project. Wow. So I want you and Nathan to please assist her. Sure, sir. That won't be a problem. So when exactly are we expecting her? Oh, come on. Very soon. Very soon. You just get other departments ready because I'm going to announce her officially. I'll see that properly done, sir. Rest assured. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Godfather, and I know you won't let Nathan walk away with this humiliation. He doesn't push me out of his house because of that, that, that thing, that low life. He chose her over me. Sir, please, I want you to reconsider not, not firing him. Please, sir. Mimi, you need to be calm. You need to be calm. Sir, Nathan is so ungrateful. After all the things, we did for him. He had the guts to treat me this way. He's so grateful. You see, the last time I told you, you, you don't force love on a man. You don't. Look at it now. This is what happens when you do. The last time I told you, I cannot fire Nathan. The only thing I can do for you now is at least talk to him again. Hey, Dad. Hi, Hazel. Hey, 
Dad. You're welcome. You? What are you doing here? Mimi? Hansel, my daughter. You're what? Do you both know each other? You know that I've never met her before in my life. I'll be in my room. Oh, sir. I have to be. I'll sorry. Sorry, sir. Oh my goodness. So she's Chief's daughter. So Nita knew him and that's why he wants to leave me for a richer girl. That is not happening. No, it's not happening. I don't even think Chief is aware that they're dating. That was why she didn't say anything when she saw me. Okay. I need to get rid of this girl. I need to get rid of this girl. How could you lie to me? How could you tell me you killed that girl and she's still living? Shut up your mouth, you lying bastard. I'm giving you 24 hours to finish the job I paid you for or refund my money. Shit. This is what Nathan, open this door! Open this door, Nathan! I know you can hear me from here! Open this door, you go in there! Nathan, open this door! You're just so wicked! You're a beast, Nathan! Because you know she's rich! Because you know the father is wealthy, that's why you want to leave me for her! Nathan, what did I do to you? What did I do to you? Nathan, open this door! You can't help me! Nathan! 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 Shit! Nathan! <laughs> she was so shocked. I felt like she was going to have a seizure or something. This is funny. Yes, it is, actually. But how come you guys have not met before? Considering that her father is your dad's friend. What? <laughs> Do you know how many friends of my father I have never met? Not to talk of their kids. How? How are we going to meet? I'm a photographer. I live a very humble life. <laughs> it doesn't work. So I don't know her. <laughs> but wait, babes. Do you know that I'm so scared? What if my father finds out that I'm seeing someone? Huh? This one you're saying is not even my concern. My joy is that that girl has seen you. I mean, that girl called you a church rat. So now she has seen that you're not a church rat, that your father is rich. <laughs> I can imagine the shock on her face. It's going to be a slap on her face, actually. And I would have loved to see that. What? <laughs> you just like trouble. See, I don't care about how many slaps she wants to receive on her face. All I know is that I don't want Nathan to find out that my father is rich. He's going to hate me. Because, first of all, he doesn't like rich people's kids. And secondly, I lied to him. What would I do? You will need to speak to him yourself. Yes, that's the only thing you can do. Speak to him yourself before someone else would do that for you. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I don't want this happiness to end. Look, the way I feel, I love it. I don't want it to end. It will not end. This guy loves you. You just need to come out clean. <sighs> Okay, okay, fine. I will. Yes, you have to. Because if he hears this from another person, I cannot guarantee you of his reaction. Do I have to tell him? Mm. Okay. I'll tell him. Yes, you need to. Do I have to? You need to.
Well, um, I am not in the right position to talk to you about things like this. But you know, Mimi is my goddaughter. And she has been persistent in asking me to speak with you. Why don't you give the young girl a chance? She really loves you. Are you sure about this one? So, when will it be? The marriage, of course. Because I would love to be there. Well, Congratulations. We'll talk more about this when you come to the office. is looking extra gorgeous today. Yes, Dad. I am going out for a date. Do you like my dress? Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So, when are you bringing him? I would love to see this young man that is behind this your recent happiness. Dad, just calm down, okay? I'll bring him when the time is right. But for now, I have to go, Dad. Don't stay up for me. I'll come back really late, okay? I love you. <laughs> I love you too. And if anybody looks for your trouble, don't forget who your father is. Yes, sir! <laughs> My dad is a soldier. I know that, Dad. Bye! Take care of yourself. I see someone is ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's our first official date. I need mm -hmm. to make it memorable for us. It looks very nice. Right? Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start with this. <laughs> I, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> A toast. To what? To us. To love and to a beautiful work of art. Oh, is there a love portion in it? Why don't you drink it? 
Yes. I find out. <laughs> it tastes really nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're in for a treat tonight. Oh, wow. Yeah, food is coming. Wait. I have to tell you something. Baby, can we do it later? No, no, babe, look, I need to tell Baby. you now. It's very important. We have Please. The whole night. No, Sorry. like now. Baby, tell me later. Okay. Hmm? I want to tell Just you. Just give me a second. To do what? I'm coming. Anna. Yes, sir. I've been trying to reach um, Hazel on phone, but all her lines are off. Her phones are switched off. Please, as soon as she comes back, tell her not to forget the appointment at the office. Okay, okay? sir. Like My sir. staffs will be waiting. All right, sir. Take care of the house. All right, sir. Bye. Yeah. Hello? Yes, this is Hazel. What? Where? How? Where? Let me call you back. Hannah! Mom! Come downstairs fast! Olive has been shot. Where's my car keys? My car keys! My car keys! It's all right. I'll be on my way. Well, I'm sorry. We'll have to cancel this meeting. We'll have to cancel it for a very unfortunate situation. I just got a call from one of my domestic staff at home now that uh, my daughter had to rush to the hospital. She says uh, her friend was shot. Well, I'm so sorry about this, sir. That's so unfortunate. But I hope the person shot is not in critical condition. Well, I should think so. Um, she said um, the bullet just left a scratch. Oh, thank God for that. I have to run along now. Mm. You two can inform others. Please help me tidy your business. Okay? Sure, I will do that right away, sir. Listen, you have to stay here for the moment. At least let those boys that try to kill you, let them be arrested. True. Your home might not be safe at the moment. Look, that is right. If they find out that you're still alive, they'll come back again. No, I don't think I was their target. What? I think before they shot me, they called me Hazel. I turned and they shot me. So I think you are their target, not me. Oh, what, what do you mean? I don't understand. Dad. Who would they send assassin after my daughter? I don't even know. Dad, I don't have any problem with anyone. Why would anyone try to kill me? <sighs> Dad, I'm so scared. Why would anyone <laughs> try to kill me, Dad? Please, be calm, be calm, okay? From the description she gave to the police, they are everywhere searching for the culprits. And I'm sure it won't be long before they are caught. I swear I will skin whoever tries to harm my daughter 
I will skin that person alive. Okay, daddy. Jeez. Sorry. I need to be careful. I will. I'll be careful. Sorry. I should do a very clean job. Scar doesn't joke for business. I don't make mistakes. You're very sure she's dead. But this picture is not clear. It was taken from afar. The news will be everywhere soon. I told you, I don't make mistakes. I repeat. Do you have extra hundred for a job well done? What are you doing here? Look, I'm not in the mood for your nagging, okay? How can I nag? How have human feelings to write? Just sit down, please. No time. Please accept my heartfelt condolences. I heard what happened to Hazel. And honestly, I'm so, so, so sad that she had to go that way. Nicole punished her killers. But be instead of grieving so much, we we'll not see it as this new working in our favor. We in love, right? Love found us and love want us to be together. Hey, uh, are you high on cheap drugs? Who got shot? The person I just finished talking to on the phone? Huh? Look, I'm going to give you one advice. Go to a hospital. You need to get a mental health evaluation. You need it because you're losing it. But I saw it on the news. You saw nothing. Get out of my house. I'm just here to leave. Nathan. What? Leave my house. I'm just here to sympathize. Look, with I don't want to be rude. We well, should calm down. Calm down. Nathan. Leave. Ah. What kind of a banjo is this one? Okay, open up. Open. <sighs> so sorry. I'm so. Please now, you need to take your medications. Please. How are you feeling? <sighs> sorry, sorry. Sorry. Can you hear that? My phone, where is it? It's Nathan. Hello? Maybe I'm fine, you sound worried. What's, what's the matter? What? I'm, I'm fine, I'm not dead and I, I wasn't sure. Olive was shot. Babe, can I call you back, please? I just got off the phone with Nathan and he said that Mimi said that I'm dead and I was shot. How did she even... Could she be the one behind the attack? Now, this confirms my suspicions. I've always suspected that girl, but then I did not have any proof. Do you know that she threatened me? Look, she threatened you? Yes, I didn't know that she would go through that extent to try to kill me. How would you take such threat as a joke? You need to speak to your father. No, 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 please. My father will be so disappointed that all this is because of a man. 
Do you, do you want more food? Yeah, Neta. I have forwarded my daughter's uh, pitch deck to your mail. Have you gone through it? Well, <laughs> that's why she's my daughter. Um, please, the conference is tomorrow. And um, I would like to introduce my daughter to you people before the meeting tomorrow morning. So that you people can at least get acquainted. Okay? And then, um, since you both are the one attending to her pitch deck, she can as well answer our questions, if there is any. Please don't forget, we are nailing this project tomorrow. That's good. That's good. Hey baby, uh -huh. look who is in a full element. Okay, <laughs> my photographer girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Most hardworking, mm -hmm. most beautiful. Uh -uh. American beauty. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> You're so hardworking. Do you ever rest? How can I rest? When you recommended me to all those companies that want to choke me in work, like they want to finish me in work. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you're happy. Mm -hmm. I see how much this means to you. <laughs> so yeah, my hardworking woman. Do you know that you're the workaholic here? What? Because you made all this possible. So baby, thank you. Thank you so much for being the best part of my life. Oh, mm -hmm. you deserve it and more. Really? Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to make us breakfast so we can spend the whole day together. Mm. Just me and you. That sounds exciting, but I have work. I have to go and sort out a few things in the office. You, you can just wait for me. I promise I'll be back immediately. Today, today is your full day, remember? Yes, I know, but I have a meeting with my boss's daughter and a conference after that. Oh, really? Yeah. At the office? Yes. Babe, I have to go to the office. I need to meet up with my uncle. I just want to oh. spy people. You and your uncle are bonding. Stop yeah. it. Stop. You're teasing me. Office woman and a photographer. Stop it. Stop ah, it. It's too work. Our hat fell off. But uh, there you go. Okay. You. Look at you. Mm -hmm. My workaholic baby. Did I cut her? She's Photographer on, of anyone you want to be. Anyone is, is hard. Oh, oh, oh. I'm liking this view. I like this view. Yeah, but come here. I know what you're looking at. <laughs> Hazel? Dad? You aren't dressed yet. Sorry, Dad, I will get ready. Look, this is a very important meeting. Not one of your photo shoot sections. I know, Dad. I'll get ready. I know how important this meeting is to you. Oh, no. Don't keep important people waiting. No problem. I'll be there on time. I promise. Okay? And don't forget, none of my staff has ever seen you. Okay? <laughs> Yes, they are very eager to meet the great Chief Williams' daughter, mm -hmm. who single-handedly saved the company from bankruptcy. Yes, Dad, I've heard you. Dad, go. I'll come. I'll come on time. It's okay, please. See All you right. soon. <laughs> okay. okay. You're very useless. A very simple assignment, and you failed. I thought you said you're the best at this game. You better return my money, else. That's good for you. I wish they get you and kill you.
Ju, 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 Where is this young lady? I thought I told her not to keep us waiting. Dad, I'm here. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasted your time, Dad. Sorry. Well, lady and um, gentleman, my daughter here, Hazel Williams. Your chief's daughter? Arthur? What's going on here? Excuse me, sir. What's going on here? What's going on here? Do they know each other? I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to storm out of the office like that. It's just, what, Dad? But what? No, just explain that madness to me. Dad, the thing is that Nathan is the man I've been seeing. What? Yes, Dad. When you ran away from home, was he the one keeping you? Yes, Dad. But, but Dad, the thing is that he didn't know that I was your daughter. I, I didn't even know that he works for you, Dad. It's not his fault. Nathan has been keeping you and he never mentioned it to me. That, that's what I'm saying. We didn't know. He doesn't like rich girls, so I had to lie to him that I'm from a poor home. So I could keep him. I didn't want to lose him, so I lied to him. You lied to keep a man? Uh, I said that is very low of you. No. I am so disappointed at you. Dad, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, Dad. Nazel? Uh, yes. I am disappointed at you. Very disappointed at you. Dad? <sighs> nah, nah, nah. Dad. out of the office. I tried to talk to him, but he wouldn't talk to me. I even went to his house. I kept on knocking and knocking and he would not answer me. Look, I'm losing my mind. If I lose him, I'm going to kill myself. I will just die. You're not dying. Nothing <laughs> is going to happen to you. He's just angry. See, it is always very painful when you find out that the person you love has been lying to you. <laughs> what if I told you this? You should have told him before now. But don't worry, you will come around. I just want him to talk to me. I just want my baby back. <laughs> give it time. That guy loves you. He will come around. Just give it time. I miss him. You should talk to me. <laughs> Okay, he will come around. I'm sure he will come around. That guy loves you. Oh, please, I beg you, listen to me, please. I said, leave the way. I will no, run you over. No, don't leave it. Please. Please, please, I beg you. Hazel, get out of my way. No, I'm not leaving. I'm not. Lisa, please, I beg you. Listen to me, please. Please, I beg you. You want to run me over? Fine. You betrayed me. You betrayed my love. You betrayed my trust. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't do it on purpose. I did it because I didn't want to lose you. You said you don't like rich people. If you knew who my father was, you would leave me later. Are you listening to yourself? Yes. Do you realize what you've done? You ran away from home and you stayed in my house for God knows how long. How do you think your father would see me? Nathan, please, I'm sorry. I beg you. I'm so sorry, Nathan. Please. 
I need to go to my Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Not without your forgiveness. Please forgive me. I beg you. Please, please, please. 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 Else I won't go home. Please, I beg you. Please, please. Hello, officer. Oh, you have arrested the boys. Good, good. That's a very good job. Well done. Listen, officer. I want them dealt with mercilessly. Who? Mira Kongosu. Of course I know her. She's my goddaughter. What? She did what? It's okay. You just leave her to me. I know how to handle her, okay? It's all right. Thank you very much. Mm. Yeah, Miracle, how are you doing? sincerely apologize for my behavior the other day. I honestly didn't know that Hazel is your daughter. If I had known, I, I would have convinced her to come home. I believed that she was from a humble background because of how calm and reserving she is. Also, sir, I, I want you to know that I didn't abandon our project. I followed it up and made sure we got the contract. Do you really love my daughter? Sir? Do you truly love my daughter? With every heartbeat, sir. I love her more than words can describe. Well, you are a good man. And um, I know you can take care of her. Seeing how dedicated you are to this company, I guess you are the right person to help her uh, manage uh, her shares without taking advantage. Also, seeing how you loved her without uh, really knowing who she was, unlike her other sitters. Well, if, um, if what you have for her is truly love and marriage, you have my blessings. Chief, are you serious? Yes, I am. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for this. You can come with your people whenever you choose. That is, if what you want is truly marriage. Yes, sir, it is. And I promise that I will never disappoint you, sir. It's okay. It's all right. Thank you, Chief. Thank you so much. So you sent for me? Oh, yes, I sent for you. I have a surprise for you. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but by the way, how is your father? He's fine. He's doing okay. All right. Good day, sir. Good day, officers. How are you? That's fine, sir. Yes. Um, she's the one. Arrest her. Arrest who? Chief! Adam. I am Inspector Morita Lairo from the state CID. That is my colleague. You are under arrest for the attempted murder of Miss Obi. Anything you do or say will be used against you in the court of law. Please respect yourself. Chief, chief. Okay. So, 
Let's go. Officer, stay high away. Let's go. No, hey, easy. something special. For you? You wanted to show me your face? <laughs> no. It's right there. The thing? Do you see it? No, I I can't see it. Why is it? Straight. Straight? Mm -hmm. Straight where? Oh. Huh? Turn around now. I should Behind you. turn like it's here. Started as different individuals. But now, I want us to be one. So, will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? Yes. Beautiful. Come. Oh. 